The third drill is going to be the toughest for a hitter, and it's going to be something that I've had a real hard time getting kids enough practice. Um, and this machine is going to allow us to become halfway decent at being a two-strike hitter. As soon as a pitcher gets to two strikes, especially when he's up in the count, one, two, 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 85% of the time they throw away. And they throw away because most hitters don't stay connected, stay on the ball, keep their hands close, and actually know how to hit a ball opposite way. So just throwing on the outside half can get a guy out. This machine is going to allow us to endlessly work not only on the outside half of the plate, but on the change of speeds that are going to happen with two strikes. Because the ultimate challenge of hitting is with two strikes, we choke up a little bit on the bat, and it's getting hitters to think, I'm looking hard away, but I've got to adjust to a softer pitch, otherwise I'm going to strike out. I'm going to be an out. So this drill, we're going to be looking hard away, but we're going to have to be ready for any pitch. The key is this, you don't look for a change up. You can't look for slow because if you do, a fastball's by you. You gotta be a good enough hitter to think fastball, keep your hands back, wait, and still go opposite way on off speed, and this drill is gonna allow it to happen. So we're gonna vary speeds. Hitter is not knowing what's coming, and we're simply gonna work on staying alive and hitting opposite way with two strikes. So our hitter's up on the bat a little bit, and he's thinking away, adjusting in. Stays alive with a foul ball. Okay, he's on top of an up and out pitch, which is an ideal swing. And somehow or other, he was still able to stay on the change up. He stayed on the change up. Stayed hard away. In the span of one minute, we got about nine or ten actual game-like pitches where the speed is changing and the hitter is having to think outside, think hard away, adjust to off speed, and stay alive. And that session right there is probably more practice than guys get uh, in a month. He just got it in a minute. Next guy. I mean, I, 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 holy cow, man. Did you get it out? Was that a changeup or fastball? That's a changeup. But, but, guys, just hitters for your own sake. If I'm thinking, I got a, I'm looking hard away, and I'm thinking up and out. If you can handle an up and out pitch, that's why I love your high tees. If you can handle up and out, a change up that isn't ideally situated, you just, you don't even have to think about it, you react to it. That's what you set for and then those just naturally happen if you get enough practice, okay? So I'm first of all looking to see, can we actually hit the ball on the outside half of the plate that way, up the middle to that way, and the other thing I'm, the problem I'm going to create is with this remote, I'm going to be able to change speeds anytime I want. He doesn't know, and we're really creating the problem of two strike hitting with this. So here we go. Ball's away. We're choked up a little bit. Two strike hitter. Okay, immediately threw a change up and we got a rollover, which I'm liking. I'm liking as a defensive coach, not an offensive coach. Does a beautiful job right there putting a the double down the line on a changeup, which is really good hitting. He's got to keep the stand with the two strike approach. Here we go. And here's the deal often, if you're looking off speed, the fastball comes in its bias. So keep thinking hard away, adjust with the changeup.
Okay, this is a legitimate hitting challenge. Just stay in there, keep thinking hard away and adjust. That's a nice job of fighting off a tough pitch that's up and out. That's a great job right there with an up and out pitch. And he stayed with that. The interesting thing is this is about what a minute and a half and he's already had about 14 or 15 efforts at hard away, soft away. He doesn't know what's coming. If we kept doing this with a, a good young hitter in a week this guy's gonna look good in this drill and if he can handle this drill he can handle anything.